It's ABC News Primetime. President Jacob Zuma hopes the revitalization of Adams College in KwaZulu-Natal will help inspire the youth to become patriotic leaders. The president was speaking at a ceremony to mark the sod turning of the construction of additional classes at the historical school. Adams College is one of a handful of missionary-funded education and training institutions uh, started during the apartheid era. Thirty-five kilometers south of Durban lies a school that's been synonymous with black excellence for 163 years. Adams College produced four ANC presidents, among them John Langalibale Dube and Chief Albert Lutuli, and the first president of Botswana, Sir Seretsakhama. Uganda's former president, Milton Obote, also studied here. It is one of the key institutions in the rich cultural and political heritage of the country. It stands as a powerful monument to the fact that education has always been a cornerstone of our existence as a people, even during the dark days of oppression. Now efforts to expand and revitalize it, spearheaded by former students. Indeed, education being the quickest equalizer between poor and rich, we are encouraging students and they are doing well in science and maths, which is very important. So our message is that let's support the, the, the school, but from, that's our deal, is to support the school, but the students must pass and be disciplined. The president hopes this will inspire future generations. The revitalization of Adams College is critical so that it can become an inspiration to all our children who are growing up in the era of freedom and democracy. Pupils too say change is for the better. It just shows us that we're part of the bigger picture and it's up to us as students to, to look up to people like Jacob Zuma to try and make a difference just like he has. And It's a great honor to be in, a, in such a school. We are very proud of ourselves to be in such a school. It inspires us to have a brighter future and study harder. Government is committed to help restore the school's legacy while the private sector is also donating funds. Mzondi Lembeji, SAPC News, Amanzim Dodi, south of Durban.